Hey, what's up, comic book peeps? Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition, the uh, channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. And uh, today I just wanted to kind of uh, talk to you guys and answer some of the questions that I've been getting. Um, one question I got from uh, Comic Book Window was, how do I uh, organize my collection? And, uh, okay, so how I, order, how I keep my collection in order is, I make sure that everything has to go from A to Z. I don't break anything up as far as this is the Wolverines with this Wolverine and stuff like that. I do put, now, like if I had Wolverine, I would do Wolverine Origins and everything after the main title. Uh, but that's basically the first part of how I keep my collection um, nice and neat. Because I've actually taken collections, one being comic book windows, and I put it in order and I, you know, uh, bagged and board everything and I mean I made uh, by the time he got his collection back he was like wow man so he's been asking me that for for a uh, while for some years um, I do separate uh, my paperbacks and my hardcovers uh, I separate the comic books too I separate the magazines everything has its own home and I keep them um, instead of keeping them in long boxes I get the like $25 um, locker or yeah it's a rolling locker from Walmart that you can get and it comes in all type of colors I uh, mostly try to get black uh, but hey I'm not successful all the time as far as uh, purchasing the colors and I also put a label on them so if it's from like A to C I have A-C written on the actual um, on the label and then I stick the sticker label onto the locker. So, that's just one question that, um, you know, I wanted to answer. Uh, another thing was, do I take any of my action figures out of the box? And, um, now I'm a mental card collector. What ended up happening was, in my 20s, I started buying, like, the Marvel, that lets you know how old I am. But in my 20s, I started buying like the first round of Marvel Legends Toy Biz, Marvel Legends. And um, that took a lot of my the package and I took a lot of my wrestling figures out of the package. And then, you know, they just got loose and they wouldn't stand. And, you know, the first Toy Biz, Marvel Legends, they'll fall over on you real quick. So I basically just uh, gave those away. And I still beat myself up to this day because Omega Red in um out of the out of the package uh, runs for about fifty dollars you know that's how that's how much the toy biz marvel legends go for some of them like the deadpool they can get up to like three hundred dollars so but yeah i don't never uh, take my um action figures out of the package since i've become older sometimes i wish i could go back in the future and uh, go to Christmas like 86 and be like, hey Fred, don't open up none of these Ninja Turtles. You won't believe how much they'll cost in the future. You know what I'm saying? Or go back and get a New Mutants 98. You know what I'm saying? But that's just some questions I wanted to answer. I just wanted to, you know, have a late night talk. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of action figures that uh, came in. Um, Bad Batch from Star Wars. If you haven't seen Bad Batch, it's a pretty good animation. Uh, you know, I got a couple more Hasbro posts that came in. And I think I'm done with the McFarland figures for right now, but we'll see. But yeah, just want to talk to you guys. No refuel, no intro, no nothing. Just raw and uncut and just answer uh, two of the main questions I get asked uh, on my channel. And so once again, I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. The channel is Fred Hall, Direct Edition. Like, subscribe, share. Remember words of wisdom. Focus on the ones that show you love and on the ones that don't show you love. Hey, we're just going to keep on rolling without them. The name of the channel is Fred Hall, Direct Edition. I will catch you girls and guys later. Hey, be safe out there. Peace.